There is an advantage in God that you are about to receive. There's a great deal of blessing from the Lord that is about to come upon you. Those things that you have been praying and crying to God in prayers are about to be given to you. Your lost hope over those things are about to be revived and the life that you have been praying about is coming to you as a surprise because God himself is about to surprise you with the blessings that will change your life for good. God is about to surprise you with every goodie of life. God is about to give you an upgrade and a shift from where you have always been to where you ought to be. It does not matter what you have been doing. It does not matter where you have been all this while. Those times that have been wasted in that relationship, those times that have been wasted in those problems, the times you have wasted because you are ignorant of the things to do and what not to do, And this act of ignorance has cost you lots of things that you should have had in the times past. Those days you have hoped for things and nothing was coming for you. Those days that nobody was there for you. Those days that everything worked against you. Those situations that brought troubles and predicaments that you cannot handle in your life. Those days that those that you loved and are committed to them wholeheartedly, but in the end, what you received was a disappointment, hatred, failure and backstabbing from those you do not believe that they will hurt you because you have loved them. Those days of evil and lack, poverty and pain are about to be wiped away because God is about to surprise you with great blessing. God is about to give you some things that you have been struggling to have to yourself. God is about to surprise you with those promises that he has given you from the beginning of the journey. It is not just that you have been forgotten all these days. It is just that God is building something bigger and better for you than you imagined. What you do not know that you can get, God is about to give it to you. That blessing, that virtue that you cannot afford with your money, that life that your money cannot give you, God is about to give them to you as a surprise. You have entered into a season of your life that you will not have to suffer to get what you want. You have entered into a season of your life that everything will begin to work for you without you giving more effort or struggling to do so. What God is about to do in your finance will make you shout for joy and testify to the goodness of God. What God is about to do for you in your marriage, your relationship, your business and career that has not been working well for you all this while, there is a change that is about to come into them. And when these things happen, your experience and everything will become positive and no more negative or a failure. Nobody ever believed that a dead man that has been laid in a tomb for four days will still come back to life with all the processes of decomposition that the body has gone through. There was a time that Jesus received a message from the family of his friend Lazarus that he is sick. But Jesus did not go immediately, and after some days they sent a message that Lazarus is dead. You know what it means to tell someone that the person you were once told was sick is no more sick, rather the person is dead. But as hopeless as that situation has become, as bad as that thing has been, Jesus was never moved by the message of sickness or death. This has always been the nature of God not to be pressured by the situation you are going through. There is nothing you are seeing now in your life that will make God stop being God. If it is not the right time for it, it is not going to be the same way you want it to be. But if you come to the right time, right season, the main time for everything to work for you, 
You will always be like you are dreaming, but laughter and joy will fill your mouth. Jesus was not too quick to respond to the message that Lazarus' sister sent to him. That is when you are forcing those things and it is not working for you. When you think your prayers are not being answered, when your career is too slow to rise. The time you asked God to bless you, but it was like God is not doing something about it. God is never too early to anything and God is never too late in any things. God is sovereign and he works at his own pace and time. You may think God is not interested in your case, but you do not know that what God has for you is very great and big, very massive plans and big works that God wants to give you at the right time. At the right time, Jesus came into the situation of Lazarus' sisters. And guess what happened? A mind-blowing surprise, a very big miracle that they would not have thought of. John 11, verse 39, Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man exclaimed, but Lord, by this time he is decaying and throws off an offensive odor, for he has been dead for four days. 40. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you and promise you that if you would believe and rely on me, you would see the glory of God? 42. Yes, I know you always hear and listen to me, but I have said this on account of and for the benefit of the people standing around, so that they may believe that you did send me, that you have made me your messenger. 43. When he had said this, he shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus! 44. And out walked the man who had been dead, his hands and feet wrapped in burial cloths, linen strips, and with a burial napkin bound around his face. Jesus said to them, Free him of the burial wrappings and let him go. What a surprise! What an unexpected miracle, what a mind-blowing surprise. From a dead situation to a living situation. From a poor situation to an abounding situation. From a nobody to someone big and great. From someone without name or influence to someone that is commanding respect because God has changed your life and your status quo. Your blessings are coming to you by surprise. The angels that will give you those things that you wanted are on a mission for you already. They are working for you already. It is going to happen to you now the same way that God has said it is going to be in the right time. You have lost your hope in it. You have changed your mind about it because you think it is not going to work again. You think you have lost all things, but you do not know that God is bringing that surprising package for you. Do you know what you are going to do now? You are going to build a faith that is going to put you in the same edge that God wants to bring you into. You have to believe the words of the Lord that have come to you, that God is about to surprise you with that abundant blessing. Begin to see yourself as the next person to be blessed. Begin to see yourself free from all those challenges that have kept your life miserable and bad. Build your faith, accept your new reality and position yourself to get it. What God wants you to do, that is your role to play in the blessings that is coming to you. Believe it that God has said it and it is going to be so. Believe it that the words and the promises of the Lord do not fail. Believe it that no matter what the situation may be, the blessings of the Lord is not going to elude you. You have to believe these things by creating a standard affirmation about them. Begin to see yourself in that reality. Change your mindset and let your perspective about yourself change. 
You used to see yourself as that person that will not make it to the desires of yours. Change it now because that is not what sees you be. You used to see yourself as someone that has been defeated, someone that is too small, but God is seeing you as a mighty man of valor. God is seeing you as a national deliverer. Someone that will shake is the generation and someone that will turn things around for your generation in finance, in business, in family, and every sphere of influence. That is whom God wants to change you into. So I want to tell you now that you have to arise and shine now for your light has come and the glory and the blessings of the Lord have arisen upon you. You are receiving that surprise from the Lord. Rejoice again. I say rejoice because the Almighty God has done it for you.